Hello everyone, today we are 3D printing again and you will find the link for this print in the info box below. I am making this seven armed uh, candle stick thingy here. So first I am going to take away the support. Uh, you will need to place that yourself on your uh, 3D printer. But here we have the little thing that we need. If you don't have a 3D printer, then maybe you know someone that can print it for you. I'm using a cotton swap and I am cutting that into pieces of a centimeter. Nothing more than that. So I'm just going to cut seven of these. I'm making kind of an... Um, point at the bottom of these so I'm just cutting one side and then turning it around and cutting another one so I get this little uh, shape here with two points and then I'm just going to place them into the hole here in this little candlestick and I'm gonna do that for all seven of them this can be a tiny bit tricky but it's possible I am using some white paint to paint these pieces of cotton swarp so that my candles look white. Uh, you can use whatever kind of uh, paint you have. So this is just a miniature paint. You can use a acrylic paint if that's better for you. Whatever you have, uh, but make them white. And I actually painted these two times. I took a piece of some scrap clay and I'm shaping uh, the light bulb that is going on top of these in this clay. And um, you just roll this little ball and then uh, roll it in one side so you get this teardrop like shape. Mine was a bit too big so I'm just gonna roll it a tiny bit again making another and a smaller teardrop like that. And just making a size comparison and I like this one so I'm just shaping it a tiny bit and then I am going to heat it up with my heat gun because I don't want to bake this little thing alone. You can also uh, decide to bake it instead if you want to. I have these small uh, forms here for cupcakes and I'm just taking a tiny bit of my super glue and placing on the bottom of this little drop and placing the drop in this little plate here and then I am going to mix some mold putty and I am using this platinum silicone rubber it is a one to one ratio so I put five grams of one and five grams of another into a little uh, bowl mixing it and then pouring it out in this little muffin form letting it uh, harden all up and then you can peel off the paper of the muffin form and you have this very nice little mold of this little top for the um, candle ears or the or candles then i am mixing some uv resin with some glitter and i'm using a white glitter so it doesn't uh, make any weird colors in the little light bulb here i'm just mixing that very good careful not to make too much but you need for seven of these so you d still need enough then i'm just carefully filling up this little mold um, and really make sure you don't get too many air bubbles in there. It can be a little tricky. Do your best. I do this seven times and when I'm ready I'm just taking my super glue gel and gluing these small light, light bulbs on top of each of these um, um, cotton swap pieces and uh, it can be a little tricky to glue them in place as you see here sometimes it's not that easy as it looks on camera but i'm just taking my time and making sure that everything is glued on top so that i have seven lights here with a light on top i'm 
Then I am going to take my female glaze. You can use whatever kind of glaze you have, but you want it to be glossy. And I only put that on the top light bulb here. And that is all there is for this little craft. You might have to do this twice, but that's up to you and up to how glossy you want it. So that was the video for today. I hope you liked it. I had a lot of fun with this. So thank you for watching and happy crafting.